I don't know if you'd agree with me, but a lot of times it's easier said than done. You know, we've been looking at Psalm 34 where the Lord tells us, those who look to him are radiant, their faces are never covered with shame. A lot easier said than done. There was a Geico car insurance commercial a couple of years ago, maybe it's still running, I don't know, based kind of on a horror movie. Four young people are being chased and you never see what they're being chased by. But they come to a house and a shed. And the one person, the one guy says, let's hide in the attic of the house. Another guy says, no, let's hide in the basement of the house. The girl, of course, the most practical of all, says, no, let's hide in that running car. And the other fellow says, no, let's hide behind that rack of chainsaws. And that's what they decide to do. Of course, they're, they're not really hiding from anyone or anything. But the picture on their face, just sheer terror and dread. I wonder how many times our faces look like that to other people. We're chased, we're hounded, we're harassed by so many different things in our life. You know, maybe, maybe it's one of those health problems that just continues to follow us along and that we just can't shake. Maybe some of us have trouble with vehicles. We buy a vehicle and it just is constantly breaking down. Our children have relationship problems. It's just one issue after another. And maybe in public we put on that good, strong face, but at home we're just absolutely depressed. So where do we go? Where do we turn for refuge, for strength, for hope, and for help? So many people go to all the wrong places. So let's just consider what the psalmist, Psalm 34, again, tells us. He says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is everyone that takes refuge in him. You and I, by God's grace, have tasted and we have seen how good God is. Just, just think about our sins. Think about the sins and how... Our sins absolutely crush us with guilt. How our sins overwhelm us with fear and how sometimes the joy is just drained from our face because of the guilt of the sin that we have. And what did we learn? We listened to our Lord who said, confess. And so we confessed our sins. We said, Jesus, take all of our sins. And Jesus took those sins. He carried them to the cross. He died, offering his life as that one and only ransom. And as a result of what Jesus did, God now looks at us as being perfect, holy, righteous in his sight. The guilt is gone, the fear has been removed, the joy has been restored, and there is that look of radiance on our face. Because we have tasted and seen how good the Lord has been, we went to him as our refuge in a time of our greatest trouble. And I think if we just remember what Jesus did for our sins, we will realize what he can do for us. We realize what he wants to do for us. We understand what he promises to do for us. When those pressures build and the difficulties keep coming at us, where are we going to turn for a refuge, a place of safety? Why not go to God? I mean, what did he do for Daniel in the lion's den? He was his refuge. He was a refuge, a place of safety and protection for the four men that got tossed in the fiery, the three men, excuse me, that got tossed in the fiery furnace. He was a place of refuge for the disciples when that storm came up on the Sea of Galilee. He was a place of refuge for Peter and Paul when they spent time in jail. Imagine the radiance that was on their faces when they looked to God as their refuge, their help in the time of every trouble. So what is that difficulty that is overwhelming you? What is that difficulty that seems to always be following you? Where are you going to turn? How about God? Your refuge, your strength, an ever-present help in trouble. How about God, who's been there for you in the past? How about God, who promises to be there for you in the future? God is our refuge. And when we turn to him, then our faces will be radiant, never covered with shame. So it is possible when we have tasted and seen that the Lord is good, when we have looked to God to be our refuge and strength, then our faces will be radiant, never covered with shame. Amen. We pray, Father in heaven, forgive us for the many times we have looked elsewhere for a place of refuge in our life. Lead us to understand that you are our one and only refuge. Keep us safe, guard and comfort us now and always, and restore to us joy in our life for Jesus' sake. Amen.
Blessings to you always.